Hi, it's Alison from Fruit Juice. Today I'm going to show you how I make my knickers. Okay, since I've been making my own pants, I haven't worn shop bought at all because these have just been so comfortable. As you can see, these are ginormous, but I like them big and comfortable. We're going to use, and I'm going to use this, which I got from a charity shop the other day. Thought it makes some quite nice pants. So first of all, what we're going to need is fabric, our pattern, which I'll briefly touch on how to make your own pattern. You're going to need elastic. You're going to need a pair of your pants that fit you really well. These are a pair of shop bought, well known. You can tell I like I like a good old pair of granny knickers, but I am a granny, so that's uh, that's fine. So you need those to take the pattern from, and something to draw the pattern onto. Each time I make a pair and something might be a bit different, I kind of just write on the pattern so that it's there ready for next time. Okay, a brief look at how I did my pattern. So, to do the general pattern, I just basically folded these in half. And if I show you here, actually if I put it the other way, this here, relates to this part here so this is this is the gusset part which is covered by this okay I used a pair of, a pair of pants like this and you line this bit up with the leg there and then obviously you draw around your pants and then you do the same with the back then you draw around your pants. Obviously, this would be on your piece of paper like this. And you would just draw around the size of pants you need. Now what you need to do is, depending on the width of your elastic, you don't need that width to draw around. So you can draw around and then on your pattern, take off the width of the elastic that's there because you don't need that extra width or height. And obviously, if you want these to be little skinny knickers, you would only need to do there so what you could do is fold it down to the kind of height you want and draw across there and that would give you little skinny pants now when it comes to doing the gusset you have to kind of lay it out on your paper that you're going to use there we go so you could even cut your piece of paper and slide it in here and then draw around your gusset and then you can just cut your pattern in half and then you've got the size that you need. So you're going to draw out your pattern, you're going to cut around it, and then probably the first one or two pairs you make won't be perfect, but they will probably be wearable. I know mine were. And so I've got all of these notifications. I've got cut on the fold, cut on the fold, cut on the fold, and in fact, with this, you, didn't, you don't have to have it cut on the folds. You could have the mirror image and just cut it out all as one piece. I quite like to do it on the fold though. What I do is I will cut, cut this t-shirt apart to make it easier to pattern my pieces. So I'm just going to quickly do that now. And on the pattern, I always write most stretch so the bit where it's stretchiest put face in this way so i'm going to fold my fabric so that it is in half i think i'm just going to make it there Sometimes I'll make them even longer if it's only two-way stretch and not four-way stretch. Okay, so that is the front piece cut out. So I'll grab my next piece, fold it in half. And then we've got the back. one 
piece and as it says on my pattern cut two because you want a piece on the inside and a piece on the outside so there we have another gusset piece identical to the first so we've got our back our front one gusset piece two gusset pieces and our elastic and we're going to add the gussets first. So I'm going to be showing you how to do the burrito method to put your pants together. So first of all we've got one gusset piece here but I'm going to lay this out first because it's a bit awkward to do. So this is where the gusset piece attaches. So we're going to have this piece this way up and we're going to attach this piece to here like this and then we're going to get the other gusset piece and we're going to attach it like this. Okay, so we've got three layers of fabric. So we've got the bottom piece right side up. We've got the back of your pants facing up. And then we've got the second gusset piece facing down. So I'm just taking these layers and putting them together make sure that they're all right at the edge so that when you sew them together they're all going to get caught by the serger okay so then what you need to do you can either go and sew those now and then come back to this next piece or you can do what I'm going to do so I pull this piece back, I roll this piece forward, and move up a little bit, okay, and then what we're going to do is get the front part of your pants and we're going to lay them right side down so basically this way and we're going to bring this piece, the flat piece, onto this flat piece here and then we're going to pull this over so that it rolls it all up inside and again you've got three layers I'm going to put a few clips in there so I'm just going to go over and sew these two bits on my serger now the crutch seams are all enclosed okay so they're enclosed that way and they're enclosed that way. And we've got a side seam here. I'm just going to chuck a couple of these clips on just to keep it in place. If you haven't got a serger and you're going to do this all on a sewing machine, for these seams on the crutch and these side seams, make sure you use a, a zigzag either a normal zigzag or a three-step zigzag, whichever you prefer. And then you do the same to the other side. We can now turn these the right way. These are big knickers, okay? Once we've put the elastic in, they will pull in a bit at the top and they will pull in around the leg. 
So if you've got to this stage of yours and you think, oh no, they're way too big, don't, don't make them smaller at this stage. Put your elastic on and then see, see what you think about the size of them then. Like I say, your first couple of pairs, they're gonna be a trial. You're gonna to have to make changes. You're gonna probably change up your pattern slightly, you know. But once you've got that sorted, you'll be away. On the right side, I put my elastic so that the bit that will be at the top is facing down. Okay, and I'll start a little bit away from one of the edge seams. I stick quite close to this edge. And what I do is I have it so that this isn't stretched, but I give a little tug on the elastic and I line up this edge with the edge of my pants. And I just let the feed dogs take it through. It's already started to bunch up the fabric. And that's what you want it to do. And after you've made a couple of pairs, you'll understand how much to pull this elastic. And here, well, we're getting back to the end again. I like to overlap, so I'll overlap up to about there. So now we can just trim that off. So what you're going to do now with the elastic is you fold that to the inside and then we're going to zigzag all around this edge here. That helps it lay flat. So you, you're sewing the elastic down, you can see that it, it kind of wants to turn around that way, whereas if we sew it flat, it lays down nicely. Looks, looks a lot nicer. see that but we've got the elastic sewn on the inside and then over sewn on the outside and we have this just sticking up a little bit but it doesn't keep wanting to flip around the other way it sits nicely in that direction so now we're going to do the same to the legs and the only bit you have to be really you know sort of aware of is here occasionally these are not quite level you can see here these are quite level and I tend, if they're not quite level, to just trim a little bit off. So here are my pants finished. They're massive, but they're going to be really comfortable. And the top that I used to make them out of was two pounds from a charity shop. And the elastic that I used was 50 pence, and I've got enough to make about four pairs of pants from that elastic.